Now that I have the county boundary layer and the monuments selected, I want to identify the monuments within the Albuquerque city limits. So I've gone ahead and created a filter on the jurisdiction layer. If I double click on this to open up the general tab of layer properties, I can see the expression I used, jurisdicty equals Albuquerque, to subset that so that I only have the city of Albuquerque city limits represented in that layer now. Let me turn on the roads. So the roads layer is very busy and it would be nice to just show the major roads. So I'm going to open up the attribute table for the roads layer. Scroll over. There's a column called class that breaks the routes into major and minor. So I could use this as I've done with the jurisdiction data set and with the monuments data set to just filter the data. But here I'm going to select out the major roads and actually save them to a new shape file to show you a different way of doing this. So to do this, I'm going to use the select features using an expression tool. And a similar query window opens here as when I was filtering a layer. But instead of the fields being listed on the left, here there's a series of functions. So I'm going to expand fields and values. Make my window a little bigger. I'm going to scroll down until I find this class attribute. and Double click on that. And this is my expression window in this dialog. So here's my first column class. I'm going to use the equal operator. Again, just like in the other query window, I can look at the individual values in that column. So I'm going to choose all unique and then double click on major. So I have my expression class equals major and then I'll click the select button. And click close. So I've now got 4,593 records selected. A much smaller subset. I can now use the toggle at the lower left hand corner to show just the selected features. So I'll close the attribute table and you can see the corresponding features on the map are selected. And I'll right click on this layer and choose Save As, Browse, and I'll call this Major Roads, dot shape. And I want to check Save Only Selected Features and add save file to the map. So with those settings, I'll click OK. QGIS is done. I'll turn off the original roads inventory. And now I'm left with just the major roads. And I'll right click on the roads inventory and remove that since I no longer need it. Now that I also have the Albuquerque city limits isolated, I'll buffer Albuquerque by one mile. I'll then be able to identify monuments that are either inside or close to the city limits. Buffer is an operation that creates a new polygon layer that is some buffer distance from another layer. So to do this, I'm going to go to the Vector menu, to Geoprocessing Tools, to Buffers. The input will be the Jurisdiction layer, which now equals the Albuquerque City boundary. And I'll use the default segments to approximate. And I'll enter a buffer distance in map units. The state plane coordinate system has units in feet. Therefore, to buffer the city boundary by a mile, I'll enter the number of feet in a mile, 5,280. I'll click the Browse button to specify the name of my output data set, Albuquerque Buffer shape. Click Save and click OK. Click Close. I'll drag the new buffer layer beneath jurisdiction. You can see how that worked, that it's a buffer of one mile past the city limits. Now that I have the search area for the selected monuments, I'll clip the monument layer to the buffered city limits to create a new shapefile with only the monuments the surveyor should visit. So clip acts like a cookie cutter. It cuts data out that falls within the clip layer boundary. To run this operation, I'll go to the vector menu again, geoprocessing tools, clip. The input vector layer is going to be burn SPCS. The clip layer will be Albuquerque buffer and I'll specify the name of the output shape file. I've called it Albuquerque monuments.shape. I'll click OK and close. Turn off the original monuments layer and now I see I'm left with just the monuments within a mile of the city limits. So I will remove the original monument layer. I'll turn off the Albuquerque buffer. Save my project. Finally, I'll label the monuments with the feature ID attribute. I'll double click on monuments, 
and go to the Labels tab. I'm going to choose Label this layer with the Feature ID attribute. So a lot of label formatting tools here. I'm going to choose the Buffer option and I'll check Draw Text Buffer. This will create a white halo around the labels which can make them easier to read against a busy background. Then I'll click the placement option and I'm going to give it an offset distance of 2. This will offset the label from the point a bit giving more room for a bigger point symbol. There are a lot of options for label placement. I'll click OK and now the monuments are labeled. Now I'll zoom in to just the monuments since this is going to be the focus of the map and I'll label the streets. So I'll double click on major roads Again, go to the Labels tab and tell it to label this layer with the street name. I'll click the Text option and tell it I want to use a font size of 5.25. And on the Rendering tab, I'm going to select Merge Connected Lines to avoid duplicate labels. This will remove duplicates. In the final task, you'll prepare the final map of your results that the surveyors can use to survey these monuments.